that one dude. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Ride a Wild Pony. The film is directed by Don Chaffee, cinematography by Jack Cardiff, editing by Peter Boyda and Mike Campbell. It's written by Rosemary Ansis and then based off a book called A Sporting Proposition by James Aldridge. The film stars Michael Craig, Robert Bettles, Ava Griffith, and John Malin. Michael Craig is most known for his stage credits which include Funny Girl, Campbell's Kingdom, Sea of Sand, and The Silent Enemy. Robert Bettles is most known for this, Let the Balloon Go, and The Fourth Wish. Ava Griffith isn't incredibly well-known, but she did do a fair amount of British TV, including The Diary of Anne Frank in 1987. John Malin is most known for Crocodile Dundee 1 and 2. I have to start off by saying this movie is incredible. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Jack Cardiff did the cinematography, and he also did The African Queen, which is a very famous Humphrey Bogart movie. I don't know if you guys knew that, but there you go. It's true. He is so stylized. It's such a stylized form of cinematography, and it's outside for most of the film, so I feel a lot of it was using natural light, which was so incredible, but the movement is so expansive, and there's a lot of reflections, and there's a lot of close-ups that also have an incredible depth of field. Everything in the shot is in focus, so you'll see a very prominent close-up of someone, but they're very far to a third of the screen, and in the background there's another person far away that is in focus, and that's just so stylized that it really hasn't appeared yet in any of the films, and it took me out of it only because I like recognized that it was a stylistic choice of the cinematographers, and it didn't take me out of it in a bad way. I, I was like, oh, okay, I'm here, Jack Cardiff. You got my attention, wow. And there's some other shots that are really incredible. Otherwise it's outside, so it's not, you know, any fantastical lighting situations, but the shot composition and shot movement choices were incredible. The film is about a young boy named Scotty who acquires a wild pony and is madly in love with it, and it helps him get to school, which he can't get to if he doesn't have a pony. The pony runs away to rejoin its herd, and a very wealthy family with a paralyzed young girl named Josie acquires this pony, the same one, and is training it to pull a wagon so the girl can ride horses again because she just wants to ride ponies. She wants to ride horses so bad after her accident. So they're training the horse and Scotty sees them with the horse and recognizes it as his horse, Taff, but they swear it's their horse, Bo, and it's just about how the town and the law and everyone decides whose horse it is. And it's just so grown up and intelligent in the way they handle it. It's got class systems because Scotty's family is not well off. They work on their farm. They don't have any modern stuff. And Josie's family is very well off. They have a trainer for the horses. They have stables. They have a beautiful home. And it's just that going against each other, the prejudice against Scotty for being not as well educated as Josie and not as well off as Josie. So they think he's lying and trying to steal the horse and then Josie is disabled, she's paralyzed, and that's just a whole nother subject and level. It was just so incredible to watch this kind of film. And it's so, I feel like, not well known, and just Rosemary and Sisson did a fantastic job adapting this novel because, I mean, I didn't read the novel, so I don't know how well of a job she did it actually, but this movie made me cry. I cried legitimately at the end of this movie, and it was just such a great story, as well as editing and cinematography. It just technically and narratively, this film was so good. I had goosebumps for like the second half of this film. No part of it is slow or boring. All of it is intense. I have so many notes that are like, this is intense. This is sad. This is so like, my blood was pumping because I was so nervous about what was gonna happen. And then just more and more toward the end, I go, oh my God, Scotty's gonna like either give up this horse and be heartbroken or share the horse or something. And I like was crying and I had goosebumps and it was just, I can't gush enough about this movie because I was so shocked and blown away. The movie was filmed on location in Australia with a prominent Australian cast and crew, which is so amazing. Gotta love that, use your local staff. They get jobs, it's awesome. 
And the initial response to this movie wasn't great, but as the years went on, the critical response got greater. Like, people started to like it more, which, obviously, because I'm sitting here gushing about it. I have nothing else about Ride a Wild Pony because it was so good. It's just quality filmmaking and storytelling, and I just, ugh. I mean, I cried. Guys, it's been a bit since I cried. I actually cried. Ugh. So, so good. Our total movie count is... Our cry count is... <laughs> Parent death toll is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe. But I'm not sure if you are, so you do you. And don't be the guy that faked out Scotty because that was mean. Scotty just wanted his freaking pony. <laughs>